welcome friends in this video we shall solve the example number 2 of chapter 2 of class 10 and the example is as follows find the zeros of the quadratic polynomial x square plus 7x plus 10 and verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients so first of all we shall collect the given polynomial x square plus 7x plus 10 and now we shall factorize this quadratic polynomial by using the method of splitting middle term and here the middle term is 7x and we have to split it in such a way that the sum of its factors is equals to 7x and the product of the factors should be equals to the product of first term and the last term first term is x square and the last term is 10 so the product of first term and last term is 10 x square and thus we factorized this middle term into 2 x and 5 x this means 2 x plus 5 x is equals to 7 x uh, and 2 x into 5 x is equals to 10 x square so our splitting of middle term is correct and now we shall take common x common from first two terms and if we take common x from these two terms we have x into x plus 2 and we take 5 common from last two terms then we have 5 into x plus 2 and now we take common x plus 2 from these two terms then we have x plus 2 into x plus 5 and now we shall put the given polynomial equals to 0 this means p x equals to 0 and we have factorized p x into x plus 2 into x plus 5 and that is equals to 0 this means x plus 2 equals to 0 or x plus 5 is equals to 0 this means x is equals to negative 2 and x is equals to negative 5 so these two x equals to minus 2 and x equals to minus 5 are the zeros of the given polynomial this means at x equals to minus 2 and x equals to minus 5 the graph of this quadratic polynomial will intersect x-axis and now we shall verify the relationship between zeros and the coefficient first of all we shall find the sum of the zeros this means minus 2 and plus minus 5 this means minus 7 and we can write this minus 7 like this minus 7 over 1 and we can write it as minus 7 coefficient of x over coefficient of x square so the sum of zeros is equals to the ratio of minus coefficient of x over coefficient of x square and now we shall find the product of zeros and product of zeros is positive 10 and we can write the positive 10 like this positive 10 over 1 and positive 10 over 1 is equals to constant term over coefficient of x square this means product of zeros is equals to constant term over coefficient of x square hence both the relationships are verified so this is the solution of the given example thank you